All right, I got the uh, Heide key. There's Chris. We are on our way on an epic road trip to Putten Bay, Ohio, filled up with driftwood and everything to build a pond for Coyote Peterson with the brand new YouTube van. Pretty cool, huh? So we'll be driving down the road. I think people will kind of know who we are when they see this thing, but we are going to be putting a lot of miles on this thing, driving all around the country, collabing with other influencers. This is why I love to say I love my job. That's right, it's another Team Aquascape build. It is Monday morning, it definitely feels like Monday. Nothing's going as smooth as you want it to, but that's just what Mondays are like. So I'm <laughs> getting stuff together. We are heading out to Coyote Peterson. You all know who Coyote Peterson is, and, and if you don't, you're probably not familiar with YouTube that much, but he is big time. I can't wait to meet the guy. We, when I say we, myself, Greg the Pond Guy, Ed the Pond Professor, and Chris Hansen, my right-hand man, are all heading out to Ohio. We're driving down. We're going to build an 8 by 11 ish pond, but it's indoors. I don't know a whole lot about it. I was just told get a bunch of stuff ready. Ed has pulled some product. I have no idea what we're building. I see an enormous amount of aqua blocks. I see a skimmer and a bio falls. I'm not sure what the aqua blocks are even for. We've got some plumbing. We got some pumps, ball cart, our wheelbarrow, a piece of driftwood. I guess that's not so essential, but kind of cool to have just in case. I've got foam guns, brick saw, seam tape, primer, glue, all that other stuff we might need because once we're out there, we won't have the luxury of being back at our headquarters. From what I understand, it's not just Ohio. There's an island someplace out in Ohio. So I'm guessing it's near the lake. You know, you think of islands in Ohio and it really doesn't make sense, but right now it's Monday and nothing's making sense. I'm just going to get back to loading this stuff up. We're going to be out there tomorrow, but let's get all this stuff in and I'm going to show you how you can cram five pounds of beep into a... There you have it, all loaded up, ready to go. And that's how you get 10 pounds of pond product into a five pound trailer. All right, I got the uh, Heide key. There's Chris. We are on our way on an epic road trip to Putten Bay, Ohio, filled up with driftwood and everything to build a pond for Coyote Peterson with the brand new YouTube van. Pretty cool, huh? So we'll be driving down the road. I think people will kind of know who we are when they see this thing, but we are going to be putting a lot of miles on this thing driving all around the country, collabing with other influencers. This is why I love to say, I love my job. All right, next stop, Putten Bay, Ohio. Hey boys, where are we? Catawba. Catawba, <laughs> say it three times. Catawba, Catawba, Catawba. <laughs> you try it three times. Catawba, Catawba, Catawba. Oh, yeah, as as it is good. Catawba, Catawba. <laughs> we made it to Ohio. You guys got in way before us. We talked about the intelligence of flying versus, versus driving. driving. Mm -hmm. When there's a five hour drive, I think it's smarter to drive than to fly. <laughs> so we've got some time to kill. Greg's running a little late, which is pretty common. Chris is gonna take me on a little field trip. I guess there's a water feature in front of the, where are we at? Holiday Inn Express over here. And this is probably, I'm guessing because as I get closer, I see it's not running. This is what not to do. It actually look cool. You got five basalt columns here, a pretty big area to catch the splash. They're obviously not running at full capacity. And so what did you want to show me? The fact that it's not, oh, the oh, smell. <laughs> it does smell pretty rotten. Um, Something dead in there. I guess not really what I wanted to show you because you're not unfamiliar with water features done not so right, but this is kind of a common thing. It's amazing. We can travel all over the country and the world and see crappy looking water features. <laughs> and the intent was good. The execution was poor. Some of it's pretty nice though. Like I see the batten strip. They got the 45 mil liner in there all the way around. This looks like it's sealed on there really, really well. Yeah. But I'm thinking what's underneath this is what, oh my God. There's the electric. That's Aquascape product right there. There's uh, the electric. None of this is Aquascape product. These aren't? No. These splitters? No, those are Atlantic. Oh, copied. Oh yeah, and you got the vault down there. Yep. Pump vault, but the electric, see, look at that. Like literally look at the plug. three inches can from the water. The, can you see the plug in the water down there? Oh my God. <laughs> So if you're in Catawba? Catawba. Catawba. Catawba, Ohio, and you're a uh, pond contractor, you might want to stop over here and give them some advice on how to fix that. Or go to the Aquascape University yeah. and learn how to <laughs> properly install a water feature and then or, go back. Or call an electrician. <laughs> What are we doing today? We're gonna start the day by taking a ferry ride out into Putten Bay. 
forget the name of the island we're going to. South Bass. South Bass Island? South Bass. What did he call you? <laughs> South <laughs> Bass. Yeah. And we're going to be hooking up at a nature center, and we're also going to be hooking up with Coyote Peters of Brave Wilderness, which we're super excited about. So we packed this back in St. Charles yesterday. Whoa! Ed grabbed a couple more pieces of non-driftwood. <laughs> Some cedar. That'll keep us busy. With all of this stuff, we are going to create something amazing. I was like, there's no way he's getting on. Person. Finally, it's so nice to meet you. Good to see you. We've only done Zoom calls up until now. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and the man with the plan. Hey, how are you? Good to meet you guys. <laughs> Thank Likewise. you so much. So, real quick, how did this come about? Well, we have been fundraising for a building addition for eight years. Yep. And basically the whole reason for it was to have live animals here. Really talking to Coyote yep. about trying to get some leads on someone that could help us with a big tank. And he introduced us to you guys. And well, we've been, this is our very first project together, so we are very very excited to be working with you guys and with him. Yeah. And uh, we've done this many times before, so we're not nervous at all about this. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was a little nervous when I got the call, though, about the weight. <laughs> challenge okay. was you were concerned about the weight because there's a basement. Well, it's a solid building, but we're going to have thousands, thousands of pounds of water, rock, you know, filters, pumps, all that stuff inside of here. Mm -hmm. So we've uh, eliminated the block retaining wall. And then I know Richard was going to kind of beef some stuff up. Yep. All right. Why don't we go uh, check out the space? I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, yeah, welcome. Very nice. Oh, cool. So this is newer, right? This kind of reopened to the public? So this was all here, although we did open this, so it was a very tight space okay. when people walked in. So we want it to be right here, right? They come in and <laughs> see the bottom right in front. No problem. Exactly. We just got this mural painted oh, a few weeks ago. Awesome. here at the Nature Center and uh, awesome opportunity to meet Coyote, the Coyote Peterson. And I think what I'm most impressed by is uh, you getting in there and helping us move rocks and unloading that truck and... I moved two rocks and they were <laughs> small rocks in all fairness. You guys getting those rocks off the truck was unlike anything I've ever seen. Like full dump truck full of rocks unloaded in less than 15 minutes. See the sweat? It happens like at least once a year. I may have a bead of sweat at the most. So what are we doing here? You know, I know you've been talking with Ed, but what's the intent? Well, for me, this is the first time I've ever gotten the chance to work on an aqua feature, right? Oh. And in talking with Greg over the years, he said, we've got to do a collaborative project. I met with Ed last year. This all came together magically at the right place, the right time. The Erie Islands are incredibly special to me. And the Lake Erie Islands Nature Center, which is where we are now, is in need of a cool feature to house some of the local animals that you'll find here on the island. So we put all of our brains together and said, how do we build an awesome indoor pond? Greg and Ed came to the rescue and everything else is gonna be magic over the course of the next 48 hours. And they brought us just to move yeah. rocks, I guess, That's what I was right? Say. Well, I mean, <laughs> our job is done here. I'm we just here it every once in a while, say <laughs> something. Well, let's go check out the spot real quick. Yeah, cool. the spot is perfect. Again, it's on you guys to figure out exactly how this all comes together. But when I walk into this space and I say, okay, we've got a vacant corner that looks like it's probably a place you'd put a couch or maybe a bookshelf, but you guys see this and you see open canvas for building an indoor aqua feature. I think that's right. Like, I mean, I think a lot of people will put a desk or some furniture yeah. or something over here, but we're gonna take that pile of, well, Chris, 
like this pile of mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. and turn it into what that's gonna be. And I don't even think we really know yet. Like we know there's a waterfall from the corner. We know there's yeah. gonna be kind of a stream waterfall system. Pools of water that range from 12 to 15 inches deep. Yep. We've got the <laughs> clock working against us, but we've got the best in the business that are gonna be here to make sure that this is done the right way. And my favorite thing that's gonna happen is see that TV on the wall? That's gonna be connected to a camera underwater. So when people come to visit the nature center, they can actually see the underwater world World of the island creatures that you can find here on the Lake Erie Islands, which is a pretty cool That's feature. Really cool. It'll ultimately draw people into this location whenever they're visiting South Bass Island, and it's just a cool experience for anybody that loves nature. Well, it's awesome to do this with you. Thanks yes. so much for inviting us out. It's going to be fun. Well, yeah. you guys put me to work. I'm ready to break a sweat, and let's build a pond. All right, let's go. Oh.